You've seen them from the sky, through the woods, and at a distance. Like I recorded it on Snapchat. But Chris Horrell saw one of the elusive zebras face to face. I was coming around the corner and I saw something sitting in the middle of the road and I knew it wasn't a deer because it was kind of bigger than a deer. Once my headlights hit it, I was just in amaze. It was a zebra just sitting there. But Chris told us it didn't move right away and he had to stare into the zebra's soul. And me and him stared at each other about maybe 10, 15 seconds until I pulled out my phone and started recording it. Right when I started recording it, he trotted his way into the, into the woods. Into the darkness. Yeah, into the darkness. It is day 23 of Zebragate. Five of them escaped from a farm in Prince George's County. And as for what Chris thought before this one took off. I was trying to guess, is this real? Yeah. Am I really seeing this right now? Wow. And yeah, because I've been hearing about it on the news and everything about it. I've seen these pictures everywhere. So, so as soon as the zebra gets out of your field of view, did you kind of look into the woods and say like, hey, buddy, where are you going? Or just. No, I didn't. I was just, I think I was, I was sat there for a minute and I was just like. Uh, this is not real. Adding to the drama of the dazzle, all of the zealous zebras are still at large. Can you believe that they're not caught yet? Yeah, I mean, I find it hard to believe, yeah. Yeah. I don't think they're trying hard enough. Do you? I found one that easy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> In Forestville, Mike Valerio, WUSA 9.